even as short as about 20 years ago, it was still thought that the number of neurons and the configuration that they were in were, was more or less set permanently in the first few years of life. And that once you had that set, that was it. Well, when neurophysiologists, neuroscientists, started looking at the brain in more detail, and particularly given the much more sophisticated technological capacities of tracking brainwave activity, functional MRIs, and these types of things, then they could actually start to get a much closer look at what was happening in the brain. And they found the brain is actually very responsive to its environment. And that if it's exposed to a particular type of environment again and again and again, it will actually change its structure. And where it starts to touch on what we're talking about is that, okay, now we know that the brain, when exposed to certain environmental conditions, can actually change its structure. And that's neuroplasticity. It can change. And so we have this whole spectrum of potentials and intelligences and dimensions of being. What happens when you put them all on the table and say, okay, now this is what we have to work with. We're not just working with IQ and literary intelligence, and we're not just working with traumatic states. We're actually working with a whole spectrum of different types of capacities and intelligences and emotional moods. When you take all of those, what you realize is that you can train the brain to make those potentials the standard default setting. Now, when you take all of these different capacities and all of them, in a sense, go through stages of increasing um, betterment, increasing excellence, increasing capacity, if you have somebody that is managed to take these capacities and work them into their higher ranges and you get the brain to adapt on a default setting to these higher ranges, then you have gone from the standard human capacity to what we, without any saturation at all, are calling superhuman capacities. Your brain becomes adapted and restructured to produce superhuman results in whatever it's doing. And that means in all of these intelligences, in all of these capacities. And so all of a sudden now, with this superhuman capacity, that's how your greatness can be manifested.